Hello everyone, this is Casual Prince Ator Sam here. And welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Uh, we're still in the cabin, the fire's kind of run out of fuel, and we don't have a lot of water left. I got some water from a walker that was trying to get in the cabin, but the first thing we're going to do is go over to the lake and get some more water. I know, because I've never actually shown you guys the lake before. It's literally right here. So if we gather some water, there we go. So now I've got bottled murky water. Uh, I think we ought to chop down some trees as well because we don't have a lot of wood. I don't think we have any wood. Okay, we have a we have a bit, but we need a lot of wood. Wood is something that you should always have a great deal of in this game. So what I plan to do today is maybe try and explore Dyersville a bit, invade a couple of homes, try and, um, oh this is true, we've been hacking out before, so that's good. Invade some homes, try and get some awesome stuff, and stuff like that. craft another stone axe. Another thing that you need to always have with you. So we'll chop down this tree, we'll uh, get some bottled water on the go, cook the rest of the meat that we got yesterday from that pig. And then we'll go and explore Dyersville. Ah. It would help to actually put some fuel in. Alright, so that's going to take two minutes. First off, we need to go and sort out our inventory because... We have a lot of stuff left over from uh, raiding that uh, that house in the snow biome. We've got a lot of crap. We're going to uh, keep the lamb rations. Uh, We're going to put away the honey because that's very valuable. Keep the large bones so we can make more shivs. Uh, put away the rotting flesh. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of the antibiotics as we're immune to most further infections. Put away the blueberry pie as well because like I've said before that's for a special occasion. Um, put away the feathers, I guess. Actually, we'll keep the feather, the, the the feathers. We'll keep the feathers. Um, we'll keep the feathers just in case you want to make any more arrows. Now we we have no points available to spend on a uh, upgrades. I was just having a look. Alright, so let's cook the rest of the boiled meat. And we're pretty full at the moment. I'm just going to eat the lamb rations. And we're 69% food. We're going to put away that empty can because I hate carrying them. 
Uh, we're going to drink some water. Now we're at 93%. And we'll get the rest of the bottled water. And now we're just waiting for the meat to cook. Glad we still have this spiked uh, baseball bat. Hmm. I think we can go without the meat, to be honest. So, Dyersville is this way. It's that way to the snow biome. This way. This looks a bit. This reminds me of the high radiation zone. Jeez, I do not miss that place. That was terrifying when I first came across that. Hold on, I'm just checking. This is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, Dyesville is here. Jeez, we're, uh, we're a long way away. We're like further away from Dyesville than I thought. Navis Gain National Park. Na oh, National Forest. It would help if I read the stuff that was on the signs rather than just assuming. Anyway. <coughs> have we searched this? Oh, we haven't. Oh, we got another blueberry pie. Let's eat that right away. And we've got another bottle of water. We're going to leave the can because, just because, mmm, that blueberry pie was delicious. So let's carry on to Dyersville. I'm pretty sure we're heading the right way. And plus, I've said this before, why would you have a speed limit on a path? I guess there was a car back there and... This could be used as a road, I guess. There's a walker over there. But which way is Dyesville? Dyesville is this way? Yep. Conveniently, it's in the direction of the walker. Oh, okay. They're surrounding us. There's only two. Which is lucky. Nope. Stop. Okay, so we killed that one. That's a rotting nurse over here. Oh, there's a dog! There's a dog in the background! There's a rabid dog! There's a happy dog! Go away! Did you hear that roar it made when it died? That was so... It sounded like a dinosaur. Oh! Okay, it's behind us! It's behind us! It's behind us! Hello! Jeez Louise! Oh, God. More coming. This isn't good. Oh, Jesus, stop! Leave us alone. Alone. Ooh, got some painkillers and some green alcohol. Jesus, when will this endless supply of walkers end? Just go away, please. Ugh, moldy bread, we do not want that. Alright, we'll collect the short iron pipe, and what's this? Oh, a mining helmet! We'll put that on, because that gives us... Oh, for God's sake, really? That's what you get for sneaking up on us. What's this? We've got painkillers and a can of ham. Okay, I think that's all of them. Jeez Louise, that was terrifying. Now let's uh, get all the meat and everything off of this. This dog. All the hide and everything, because 
our, our, like, our next main goal is going to be to make a forge, and the bellows, which is a part you need for the forge, requires, I think it's 20 animal hides. So we literally need to scavenge and, like, skin every animal we can find. Got a brass candlestick there. So, welcome to Dyersville, my friends. A place of happiness, they said. Now, which... The question is... First off, there's a lot of walkers here, so we need to be careful. Oh! I didn't think... Oh, that was a dog. Fair enough. I was going to say, I didn't think that they were that close, but that was a dog. That was my fault. I need to stop searching these corpses. Wait, all right. Do a 360. There's a zombie there. Let's quickly search this this decayed mother. There we go. Let's go and kill this zombie, which is a reanimated corpse, I do believe. Yep. Let's search it as it's falling down. Nothing on it. This is a, de a departed woman, I think. You have something wrong with your eye, miss. Yep, the party woman. Look at that. Um, Casual Prince 8, the zombie expert. Oh, God. I didn't mean to mangle its leg like that. Jeez. Okay, that was a mis that I I'm sorry. I'm, I just wanted it to be quick and painless. But apparently that's not what my nailed club wanted. <laughs> Now, I do know that there's also going to be an airdrop today, so... Well, there's an airdrop every day, but... We need to keep an eye on that. Now, question is, which one of these houses looks particularly... Good to, uh, to raid? How about this one? This one looks like a grand structure. Get all these planks off of here, cause I don't like planks. There we go. Let's get this door out of the way. I can barely see. Oh, rotting flesh and mouldy bread. Oh, speak of the devil! Here comes the airdrop. Hello. Thank you, military. Can you direct us to the White River settlement? No. No. That looked pretty close by. Hold on. Where is it? Jesus! That is not close by! Oh well. So much for raiding Dyersville this episode. We're going to spend an entire episode trying to get this airdrop. It's miles away. Look how far away that is! Oh, well, you know, it's a zombie apocalypse. You're always up for a little adventure. Ooh, a cooking grill! That uh, means that we only need a beaker to complete our campfire. I uh, suppose we should follow the road. Where are we going to go to? Ooh. Al Alba Al Alba Al Alba Kirkia. Ooh, this is, is, this, is it a car shop? Yep. Passing gas. We may as well search this place. I mean, could have some valuable because you can't actually get vehicles in this game, which is amazing. <laughs> I think they're inside. Yep, they're inside. Let's help them get out. Just so I can deal with them easier. 
come on. All right, so I think we got a putrid girl. Yep, right there. Ooh, she had some good stuff on her. And we have a bloated walker right here. Ow, Jesus, stop ganging up on me. I do believe that right there is an infected survivor. I could be wrong, though. No, uh, it might be. It looks a... Oh, it's a festering cadaver. Oh, okay, then. Well, at least you have an easy way in now. We've got some large beef rations. I hear another zombie. I'm being very careful. There's a gas barrel. Trash pile. A trash can. Some lockers. Another mining helmet. Nothing in there. Hmm. Oh, there's quite a few of them there. Let's search this cardboard box. Uh, nope, nothing worth taking. Like I said, just so we can deal with them easier. Alright, so we've got a depart. No, we've got a decaying mother. Yeah, decayed mother. And I think there's another festering cadaver. That was an awful miss on my part. Yep. Oh no, it's a rotten carcass. Alright, what did you have on you? Nothing of note. Oh, a beverage cooler. Nothing but a couple of glass jars. Yep. Only glass jars. Now. Let's see what's in here. Is there a safe in there? I see a safe. And that means... Lots and lots of hacking away. Hold on, let's just search the toilet. Because, trust me, toilet... Oh, apart from a human turd, they can have some really good stuff in them. Apart from turds. Turds are not useful. In alcohol, another glass jar. Ooh, got a wrench. Entity damage 3.64. 10, no. Ooh, we got another beverage cooler, nothing. And, ooh, we got some beer. Oh, let's have a bit of a drink. There we go. Nice boys. So we need to get in there and get in that safe. That means a lot of hacking away. And I don't know if I'm actually going to do it or I'm just going to take the basic things that are in there. Now what the hell is that goddamn noise? What am I walking on that's making that annoying noise? I think they're outside. There we go. That's the first layer. Make another stone axe. Back. <sighs> so then that's the second layer. I just had a look at the blooming, like, whether it's locked or not. If it was unlocked, I would literally just, like, I would quit. Anyway, so now we're in. Let's see what's in this cash register. So we got some Duke's Casino tokens, which are used as 
main currency for trading in Navascain. Yeah, maybe if we actually find the White River settlement, we'll be able to trade with some people. I'm actually kind of curious to find it. Not in the file cabinet. Not in the bookcase. What's this? Ooh, pistol book and a schematic for a crossbow. New recipe unlocked. Pistol. Nice. So now we can make a pistol. We'd probably need a forge though. But I know we do not need a forge for a crossbow because we can I think we can make it in our inventory and we can make crossbow bolts as well. And they aren't that expensive. Although we do need one piece of forged iron. Unfortunately. We'll get that. And now we got to break this open. This is going to take a while. good inside of here because I have literally wasted nearly 10 minutes hacking this wall sheet. There better be something good inside. of them were the same as what was in the bookcase. Nah, I'm done. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you did enjoy the video then make sure to leave a like and comment on the video and also if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me then go over to my channel and subscribe for daily gaming videos. <laughs> yeah, if my laugh sounds like rage, there's no reason for that. If you enjoyed, leave a like and leave a comment as well. And subscribe if you like. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!